I know I'm standing between you and the lunch. I will try and limit myself to about 10 minutes. Uh, the topic that I want to, in, incidentally, I uh, represent Vijnana Jyoti, uh, which has a NAC A++ grade, uh, and the only one in Telangana. Here I would like to represent a sort of philosophy and ask some basic questions and share some ideas with you. Probably because I have only 10 minutes, okay, probably we could interact at lunch time and then exchange some basic ideas. The theme that I have is education, technology, and ancient wisdom. At Vijnana Jyoti, we are very keen that ancient wisdom must come back to campuses. Yes. We are losing too much of that. As an example, if you come to our institution, the first thing that greets you when you open the doors of the main gate is Hanuman. Hanuman, we consciously chosen him to be our front gate because Hanuman is the one who has the youngest heart. He is young all the time. He doesn't think anything is impossible. He goes everywhere, flies, goes to the sky. And one of his examples is, his, at his young age, he flew to the sun. Okay. That is maybe imagination, but the wisdom that the people who wrote this one, in those days, thousands of years ago, they estimated the distance between the sun and the earth. That is Yug Sahas Yoz. When you put all these things together, it comes to 153 million kilometers. And recently NASA confirmed it, it is 150, so many years ago. Where is this information disappearing? Thank God to the internet, all these things is coming back. So at Vijnana Jyoti, you are very conscious that this ancient wisdom must come back. And then we ask a second basic question of our education. Okay. Why are we educating? What, what is the purpose of this one? Again, we go back to the to, to 3,000 years ago of Vedas. This is what is now a, uh, 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 a sloka that was almost 300 years ago. Asatoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Amrutchoma Amrutangamaya. Unfortunately, all of us stop there. Okay. That is correct. From ignorance to truth, darkness to light, death to immortality. Fellow who has no ideas, no, no vision, we give him ideas, vision, wake him up and live for a, a longer time, immortality. The, the next three or four words are in the same spirit as it, this morning the, uh, the Honorable Minister from Nagaland has detailed. Why are we doing this? What is the purpose of it? To get, uh, as somebody said, uh, to get a placement in 10 IT companies? That at the moment is a vision of us, but I think we must change it. 3,000 years ago, somebody said in this country, the purpose of education of that, uh, of the darkness to light must be, it must make all of us happy, not one. Happiness to all, peace to all, completeness to all and success to all. At the moment, I think it is success to me, happiness to me, peace to me, everything to me. <laughs> this has to change at the university levels. Next one is we are very conscious as a technology company, uh, technology institutions, what is it that we are addressing? I think we are addressing in the next, starting from now, I'm so happy that Telangana government is supporting in all these modern technologies of uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning. This one. Today at Vijnana Jyoti, these are the words that goes everywhere. If you ask a mechanical engineer what do you want to do, he says, I want to design a machine with the Internet of Things. There is a, a main focus and then a pathway of the modern technologies. Yes. What do you want to do, even with these modern technologies here? 
We have a theme at Vijnana Jyoti. We looked 100 years back, 1919 in fact, at the end of the Second World War, I have some statistics. What was our happiness index in the world? There was no happiness index at that time. But we were happy. Okay. And what was the exchange rate from dollar to a rupee? Most of you will be surprised. One rupee used to get seven dollars. One, I repeat it, one rupee used to get seven dollars in 1990. Today, we have seen it. So over just three, four generations, we have, we have slipped so much. And then let me go back. I have four more minutes. Uh, incidentally, these technologies, can we go back please? These technologies, we have a special word at Vijnana Jyoti. We call them as mezzanine technologies. We keep them at the mezzanine floor, like that one. And anybody has an access for these technologies, whether he is a doctor, whether he is a, 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 a social scientist, whether he is a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, all of it is applied. And please believe me, these are not capital centric. These are all almost free, knowledge based. Using these technologies, what I said, within one generation, we can get back this country to the, be the happiest country in the world. Just within one generation. At the moment, we rank 146 out of 160. Are we happy? Our country's ranking is 146 happiness out of 160. This is pathetic. Okay? But using these technologies, within one generation, we should we should make this country the happiest country. And then, go ahead. I think these are the things that we are looking at, at the campus. Using those technologies, this is happiness, peace, completeness and success. The same thing that people talked about 3,000 years ago. We should bring it back into the campus. Next one, please. So this is happiness. I'm not talking about theory. Happiness is defined by United Nations, and these are the components for happiness. And using the technologies that I mentioned, mezzanine technologies, you can improve health, you can improve governance, you can improve almost every part of it. We must have a focus for that. And then the next one, please. We have a separate philosophy known as presencing. Okay, if you type presencing, you will get the red under underlining of that word. But then, that is Vijnan Jyoti's contribution to English. <laughs> Presencing, especially at a university level or, or at any level is important. It combines four words. To be present. Our student is present in the class by thinking about last night's serial. No, but you must make him present. Sense, experience, and extrapolate. This is what education is for us at Vijnana Jyoti. And the whole theme of education is depending on presence. So we have four focuses of happiness, or whatever you have seen there, plus we have four pedagogies of achieving it. That what we call a spectral pyramid. Can we have it? Yeah, this is peace. And this is one thing. Uh, I have two more minutes, so okay. Uh, at the moment, if you define the world, the status of the world, including India, is we live in a moment of profound disruption where our social structures are at the edge of collapse. If you have seen last six months in this country, I think I need not explain it, and all over the world. A culture of supersized me, big is, bigger is better, and most important, Special interest group driven decision making has led us to a state of organized irresponsibility. This is the summary of what we describe ourselves at Vijnana Jyoti. We must change this one. We must have, all of us should have peace, not one or two people or two sections. Okay. That's one, next please. This is the completeness. 
Again, here, I think the SDGs and the other things the uh, United Nations has defined, what is the human development index? Using those technologies, you can make this. Uh, our human development index at this point in time is 46 out of 60, worldwide. I think using those technologies that we are talking about, we can bring it quite higher. Next one, please. And then the success. There are so many examples using that technology. That is Sundar Pichai talking from America about the cataract, uh, about the diabetic retinopathy in India, among two lakh databases. And here is a 3 kidney, 3D kidney printing for a medical. All of them uses, the, uses those technologies that I mentioned, the Mezzanine technologies. At Vijnana Jyoti, that's our morning to the evening. I will rush it. Next one, please. As I said, the pedagogy to achieve that one is, these are the four steps. That's the reason why we call this one as four into four model. Four basic uh, requirements of why we are uh, teaching, and then four, the pedagogy model. Excellence in academics, exploration of knowledge through research, excitement of innovation and entrepreneurship, and exponent of development of rounded personality, and the societal development, consciousness about society about society. I think these are the four pedagogies which we have, and these are the four phases of the pyramid which we consciously implement at Vijnana Jyoti. And we have many innovations in this one. I just run through the slides. It takes only 20 seconds. Please run through the slides, please. These are our excellence in academics. Wit and will is one of our major one. Wit and will simply means the faculty will, uh, will have to give a live example of why he or she is teaching that subject. And at that, today, in that lecture. And the student has to acknowledge with, why am I learning? This single initiative has taken the standards to quite high. Okay. And we have, and on the excitement of research, we were the first ones to design uh, anti naxal squad, training in anti naxal squads using the Internet of Things five years ago. Next one. Incidentally, that one, CAPI, the CAP there is an air conditioned CAP that you, what you will see in all JCP drivers and all the technicians will be using it uh, and in the mines and other things. This is innovation from uh, Helmet. Yeah. AC Helmet, uh, it's a basically safety. Yeah, cap, did not cap helmet. And today, they export to 24 countries in the world. <laughs> Next one, please. Innovation and entrepreneurship. Okay. That particular model in India, all over the world, one, 14 lakh people die on the accidents on the roads. 10% of it, 14 lakh people die in, uh, sorry, yeah, 1.4 lakh people die on Indian roads. Worldwide is 14 lakhs. India, 10% of it is 1.4. And then 10% of it, 14,000 people die in what used to be uh, combined on the Pradesh. And 10% of 14,000, 1,400 people used to die in Hyderabad. That is the impact of the road accidents. And that one, uh, that equipment, certifies a driver's ability to drive physically. Okay. Next one, please. Next one, please. Exponent of uh, rounded personality, I think. We make sure that uh, for entrepreneurship and other things, we train them in all these seven habits, addressing the empathy, ethics, care, and compassion. When was the last time we addressed empathy, care in a university? We, we forgot those words. Care and share are the two words that our students have to learn on the first day of entering the campus. Share and care. I think that is our, that's our basic thing. Okay. As I said, why are we doing all this? <laughs> Vijnana Jyoti, to master, apply mezzanine technologies and transform India in one generation in the happiest country to live of all. And the second thing is, as a businessman, okay, I hope I will see this back again as in 1919.
seven dollars for one rupee. Okay, with that, I wish you happy, happy landing and thank you. so much uh, mr d n rao uh, president uh, vignan jyoti i had the opportunity to personally interview him at his campus you can witness the vision and the kind of uh, transformation they're trying to bring in uh, the lives of uh, students uh, he's the man behind introducing the digital meters if i'm not wrong sir i'm right digital meters in uh, uh, india and uh, that is how the digital meters started off and the trend of uh, the mechanical meters have gone and uh, uh, including mr raman aidu there are uh, a good bunch of uh, philanthropists who are the board of directors of uh, vignan jyoti society who started off with a school now they have engineering college medical and uh starting off from the preschool to the phd a person who joins uh, the institution can start off from the preschool to uh, by and pass out by taking a phd a huge round of applause for such a visionary leaders out there next uh, i would like to call upon mr kuldeep raghuvanshi